because she says she tied my play suit because I tended to wander. She tied my play suit to the outside faucet right. on a, a rope. And she came out to check on me because I guess she had Claire at the time. So I, must, I had to be around two and a half, three years old. And there was the play suit. You took the play suit off? Not me. <laughs> and they couldn't find me anywhere. She went into a panic. I had walked through the woods across the main highway and went, naked. and went, no, no, I have a diaper on, oh. or uh, no, pants, I guess, yeah. but, uh, and I crossed, and I ended up at my Uncle Lou's house. You went to his house? I went to his house, and they called and said, do you know Yvette is here, you know, in the bottom. How did you know how to get there? Oh, I always knew how yeah. to get to places. Really? I knew my way. I, I, I always had a memory for, if I went someplace once, right. I knew how to get there. She right. liked to play dolls. No, I never the indoor liked, type. I never liked dolls. I loved the woods and I was always running away into the woods. I had my own fishing stream. It wasn't a stream. It was a big rock that I sat on with a pole and a string. Right. And I had, but I did have my strawberry patches. I knew where all the black blueberries grow and I knew where all the hazelnuts, I knew all the hazelnut bushes. Was this a fairly large woods? Big woods. It was all, now it's all built. Des yeux qui font baisser les miens, un rire qui se perd sur sa bouche, voilà le portrait sans retouche de l'homme auquel j'appartiens. Quand il me prend dans ses bras, il me parle tout bas, je vois la vie en rose. Il me dit des mots d'amour, des mots de tous les jours, que ça me fait quelque chose. Des ennuis, des chagrins s'effacent Heureux, heureux Quand mourir Quand il me prend dans ses bras Il me parle tout bas Je vois la vie en rose Il me dit des mots d'amour Des mots de tous les jours Et ça me fait quelque chose Il est entré dans mon cœur Une part de bonheur Dont je connais la cause C'est toi pour moi, moi pour toi dans la vie Tu me l'as dit Remember any good or bad impressions? It, right. You know, it was it was a lot of youngsters, a right. lot of young nurses had, having finished the cadet corps, right. and, then, and then there was that level. You know, right. all the twenty ones and the finishing nursing school and right. having joined the VA. Like you. And then like me. And then there were there was a second level: army and navy nurses that had gotten out of the navy and gone into VA because you can continue your. Uh, uh, 
retirement. Okay. See, it, 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 so I applied, and another girl applied with me, Moki. Another girl in my class says, I'll go with you. So uh, we applied to the VA in Washington and asked for, um, I said, surgery or psychiatric. And uh, they, sent, they sent me uh, an, an acceptance, and we were being posted in Fort Myer, North Dakota, or South Dakota, I've forgotten which. I looked it up. One of those Dakotas. <laughs> 110 in the summer and 50 below in the winter, right? <laughs> the girl that I was joining with me had just gotten engaged. And she said, are you crazy? We'll never get home for Christmas? Or, or said, unless we have a vacation two weeks or three weeks, she said, we're not going to get home. It's going to take there. us three days just to get there. Sure. So I wrote to Washington, and I said, it must be some terrible era that we had applied anywhere on the East Coast. Yeah. <laughs> But not Dakota. <laughs> and they, they took it and assigned us to Northport, Long Island, oh. psychiatric. Um, but there were a lot of youngsters. Uh, we were a group of uh, GIs that were just getting out of the Army, nurses that were just graduating, nurses that were just getting out of the Army or any service. Right. Uh, and um, there was a young crowd, and it involved the nurses and aides and um, interns and uh, residents, which were all doctors and psychologists and occupational therapists and physical therapists. So we were a large group of people just about the same age. I would, I would um, think between 22 and uh, 26, 27 years old. Uh, this group, I would age about 21 people we became very social and the guys played softball teams we also bowled right. uh, not on the base but in uh, in local towns uh, and we did a lot of bar hopping uh, mainly pubs that had jukeboxes and uh, some place where you could dance. It's a big group right. always a big group we always put tables any place we went it was an invasion because we'd put all the tables together, we'd buy the pitchers of beer. Right. Now, I've got to tell you, before I went to Northport, I didn't drink beer. No. I would drink wine, and my friend and I would order either a glass of wine or a Coke. Who's this friend? And then uh, Moki, who, Moki. Uh, um, Estelle Moquin, who graduated with me in nursing, and she came out on the island with me. Right. And uh, But um, sooner or later, if you wanted to be part of the crowd, you were drinking beer because uh, tabs were, you know, shared, right. and it was uh, pitches of beer, and I got to like it. Me, myself, and I are all in love with you. We all think you're wonderful, we do. Me, myself, and I have just one point of view.
and uh, we took off in the Plymouth after the wedding, and, but it was still light, so it had to be pretty, you know, maybe 3.30, 4 o'clock. Yeah, because it's in January. The afternoon, right. And uh, we took the, off down 25A, which is a north uh, east-west road, uh, Long Island still is, uh, and a, somebody had put pebbles in our hubcaps. It had to be Monty. Yeah. And, you know, we kept calling, 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 calling. <laughs> so finally we stopped in Oyster Bay or in, oh, I think it was Manhasset. There was a pullover. Yeah. And so we pulled over into a side street and that kind of looked like it went around in a circle. Well, we stopped in front. Anyhow, we stopped in a place where you're not supposed to stop and a cop came and said, you're not supposed to park here. And so we said, we just got married and there's pebbles in our hubcaps and we can't stand it anymore. He helped us take the pebbles out. And he said, just remember, you can't park here anymore. So we took and um, he said, stay in the car here, I want to see something, right? So we stopped in front of St. Moritz. Of course, the, the cop on the horse comes by and says, you can't park here, but I'm, I can't move the car. But he came out and, you know, we did. He had a, a room facing the park. Oh, wow. It was wow. very lovely. Wow. And he had made uh, reservations at Cavanaugh's, which is a place I always wanted to eat. But we had gone through so much between the pebbles and the cop and the other cop stopping us because we couldn't double park in front of the St. Moritz. I had had it. And I said, couldn't you go to a deli and get some sandwiches and a bottle of wine and water? So he did. He went and back a, a bottle of Bandura port, port wine that we had. <laughs> deli sandwiches and port wine. <laughs> the next day, yeah. we got up. We went to Church of the Paulus, and, and then we... Uh, what, where? To St. Paul. And you went to church the next day? Yeah, the next morning. Is that Sunday, traditional? Sunday morning. Oh, it's Sunday. Oh, okay. Sunday morning. We went to church, and uh, then we came back to the St. Moritz, and we had brunch. And it's one of those, it was in those days with the violin. Oh, and it wow. was very lovely. And then we took off. We, we got in the car and traveled south to Washington, D.C. And we stayed in Washington uh, for a couple days and uh, toured there. And uh, I had been to Washington several times, but I found out that first I started with the Ford Theater. And the Ford Theater just has so much. Yeah. And it took your dad two hours to get out of the Ford Theater. <laughs>
the fire You place the flowers in the vase that you bought today Staring at the fire for hours and hours while I listen to come true it can happen to you if you're young at heart for it's hard you will find to be narrow of mind if you're young at heart you can go to extremes with impossible schemes you can laugh when your dreams fall apart at the seams And life gets more exciting with each passing day And love is either in your heart or on its way Don't you know that it's worth every treasure on earth To be young at heart For as rich as you are, it's much better by far To be young at heart And if you should survive to a hundred and five Look at all you'll derive out of being alive And here is the best part You have a head start If you are among very young at heart And 
And if you should survive to a hundred and five Look at all you'll derive out of being alive And here is the best part You have a head start If you are among the very young at heart Tell me how can you stand there with 
your broken heart Ashamed of playing a fool But one thing can lead to another It doesn't take any sacrifice Yeah.